Hey guys, I'm Joe Hendricks with Joe Hendricks Photography, and a lot of you have asked me to review this thing, the Hold Fast Money Maker, and I've had it for about four days now. I took it on one wedding, and I've never shot two cameras before at a wedding in seven years, so it was quite an experience. But I would love to go through it with you, tell you the good and bads, and uh, just kind of tell you what I think about the strap overall. The strap came in a really cool box, packaging and everything was really neat. Uh, it was a good experience. I went with the chestnut leather um, strap, which is just basic one, because I was afraid of sweating and bleeding. And even though this one does bleed if you get it wet, because the first thing I did was get a washcloth and I rubbed it just to see if it would bleed and it did. Um, but this part doesn't. So this part is actually... Uh, just pure leather, no coloring in it or anything, so it doesn't sweat at all. I shot a wedding for eight and a half hours the other day, and I had no sweating. So it was really good. But I was also inside all day, so, I mean, I haven't given it a true test yet. So as far as balance goes, balance is great. I have two Nikon D750s. One has a 35 1.4 Art, and the other has a 7200 VR2. I am clipped in to the lens which I will talk about later but the balance is great I would stick a flash on uh, my 35 just let it hang there all night long and it did a very wonderful job um, I have no complaints about balance uh, structure of the strap I know it's strong I took off the safety clips because they're just getting annoying to me they rattle and they get twisted every once in a while because this thing will turn and they get twisted i have to untwist it and uh right now for the purpose of this demonstration i feel comfortable with it not falling off my uh strap my camera falling off my strap <laughs> hopefully it won't so anyways uh just to give you a little thought of shooting with two cameras if you're somebody who shoots with one uh it's a little confusing but it's not something that i can't get used to I think it would be easier if I had a 35 and 85, just a couple prime lenses, and I had nothing else to worry about except those two lenses uh, with the occasional macro and wide lens. But um, I have my 7200, which I feel is, you know, a little bit of a annoying to uh, have on your camera. I found a couple times when I wanted to switch lenses, and unfortunately, because I'm strapped into the lens. <laughs> I would go like this and my camera would be like, whoa, <laughs> my camera would just be by itself. So um, that was just some getting used to. I had to switch all my lenses with this camera. Eventually at the end of the night, I put a 50 1.4 on there and I had to switch my screw from the lens to the base of the camera and it worked fine. I use Young Nuo uh, remotes on there to do off camera lighting. Uh, it worked great. I kept my cameras in manual the whole time. I'm an aperture priority shooter for a lot of my weddings uh, just because I just like it that way and I'm used to it. But I found myself in manual the whole entire time so I could know exactly where my ISOs were. And just switching back and forth was just, like I said, a little confusing, but uh, it'll take some getting used to. As far as the camera, uh, some of the things that uh, I like are, you know, at the ceremony or the first look or something like that, I can switch really fast, you know, take my picture, switch over here, take that picture. The cool thing about this 7200 being on the lens, I don't know how it is on the camera, but I can go into portrait mode and it's fine. And I lift up. I don't do this. Like I know a lot of you do. I don't know why you do that, but this is the way I always learned and it's comfortable for me. I don't need a portrait slider on here. It's actually working just fine, just like that. And it's on the left side, it's not even on the right side. So don't get the portrait slider if you don't need it. Um, it and it worked fine. One thing that did annoy me at my ceremony is that it was a really small ceremony of like 20 people. Not your normal three, 400 person wedding. And as I was walking by people, I don't know if you can hear it, but the metal on metal clinks a little bit. And as I was bringing my camera up to my eye, you could hear it squeaking a little bit. That was annoying, but I'm probably the only one who ever heard it. So 
Uh, it's not that big of a deal to me. Uh, getting it off and on is not my favorite thing. Getting it off, easy. Click, 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 do my shots. Now getting it back on, I'm getting better at it, okay? You ready? I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm not gonna try to totally... First I gotta get my finger in this little thing here. Ugh. Bear with me. Hey, right, there it is, okay? And then I put my clip on. Yeah, I did it! That's the fastest I've ever done it! I think it's all about the positioning of the finger. Alright. So, uh, yeah, that worked out really good. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Same thing with the 7200. Taking it off and on is the same thing. You just gotta position your finger in the right place, um, and it just takes some getting used to. So normally that would have taken me like a minute. So I never take it off of the strap. Um, I found that sometimes when I want to go lay down, I'm not laying down in this because if I lay down, my cameras are like this. So I have to put it to the side, lay down, put it on the ground, and then shoot. And it's a little annoying. Like I just want to get down on the ground, take the shot, and get back up. Uh, so I guess that would just take some getting used to also. Um, there were a couple of times when I was in a tight place and I just had to like know where my camera was and just kind of move around and keep my hands on my camera. Um, as you can see, it's stylish. It's just really nice. Um, I didn't get any compliments on it. I mean, I don't think people even really uh, care. They just want you to do your job at a wedding. So don't worry about uh, trying to get compliments or anything on these straps. You just need to Find something that's functional for you, that does the job that you need to do, and does it good. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use it at my next wedding or not. I think what I'm going to do is I'm personally going to put it on during the ceremony and put it on during like first looks, and then maybe take it off at other times. But unfortunately, what I'll have to do is I'll have to get um, a strap that clicks on and off so I can put it around my neck at a reception. I, I do not like it at receptions. I just think it's uh, pointless at a reception. Um, unless you do like just one strap, like that'd be okay. But I like my camera up in the position and a Nikon D750 has presets, U1, U2. So if I wanna do a ISO of 12,800, I could do that and then somebody comes up and says, oh, can you take a picture of us? Switch it over, take the picture, go back to my creative stuff that I was doing. So it's actually really easy. So you don't need to have your other camera set for it. So that's why I've always shot with one camera. Uh, but yeah, uh, when she's walking down the aisle, taking that picture long, and then switching over, that's amazing. I love that. I've never had that experience before. And it's something new for me. And I, I just think it's indispensable to have two cameras at that moment. Because most of the time, I'm taking a picture, she's coming down, switching my lens, get back on, oh my gosh, I hit the anti-vibration button instead, you know, you can mess up while you're changing lenses. So on that point, I love this kind of system because it's great. The ca cameras stay around your butt the whole time, which is kind of nice. Um, gives you protection from people grabbing you. <laughs> just kidding. And uh, just stuff like that. Uh, it's a very well-made strap. I love it. I uh, got it for $215. They went up five bucks between when I was researching and when I bought it. And uh, anyways, um, that's all I could really think about right now. I thought there might be more that I could share with you, but um, oh, one thing that I can share with you is that I usually use an ONA bag. So. See, even bending down to get this ONA bag, my camera slipped out in front and I had to like position myself so that it would not hit my tripod that's over here. This bag, I love it to death. Love it. It's beautiful. I, I love using it. But it hurts my shoulders at the end of the day like crazy. Oh, it hurts so much. My right shoulder just really gets punished. With this, I felt great at the end of the day. There was not any like really bad soreness, um, no more than usual. I will say that I tried a small money maker 
from a friend for about a couple of days. That hurt my back quite a bit. It was really, really uncomfortable. But now I have a medium. Medium is great. So make sure you get the right size because that makes a really huge difference in your comfort level. Uh, if, you're girl, if you're a girl, get rid of the uh, D-rings if it catches your hair. Um, that's just something that I read. I don't, I, have it, I don't have any experience with that. But um, anyways, if you have any questions for me, email me at jojohendrix.com. Sorry, it's a little uh, discombobulated. I did not arrange anything. I just went off the cuff and I uh, just tried to give you an honest review. And um, you'll love it. It's a great strap, good quality. You probably won't use it all the time, but I can see where it definitely has its moments. Have a great day. Bye.